figure shows detail of the part of a protected type flange coupling assemble this parts correctly and then draw the following views to scale full size a half sectional front view upper half in section b side view as seen from left c print the title and scale use draw the projection symbol and give dimensions so now in this we'll see this so first we will see flange A, see this flange A, right? So if you see this flange A, see front view. So here they have given this part, this 3mm is coming out, see this. This portion, slight portion is coming out 3mm and in the in, in, in flange B we will have a slot. So it will fit like a socket and spigot joint, right? So this slot, see there is a cavity, so that is for the shaft. Then they have a slot for keys right over here then they have a four circle see this one two three four circles they have that and this is protected so they have a circular rim around this see this unlike in unprotected there was no rim you know it was open but in this there, there is a rim so that's why we have a dark line over here see this so there is a cavity so inside there is a cavity which we can't see from here see this so that's why it is dotted with this part and when, when you see side view from here, so of course this will be slight dotted, the upper part will be dotted, lower is dark. Then we have four circles and we'll have two circle over here. When you see from here, you will see two circles, a slight thickness will be there. So now we'll see flange B. See, see this, this is flange B, right? So now if you see in this, see, this part, hmm? this part is this part, see this. Then they have a cavity, so we have a dotted line for that. We have four circles, so we have four dotted line, right? Four circles. Then now if you see side view, see this. So one, two, three, four circles. So we have dotted line for that. We have a slot for key, right? And then see that this slot, right? What we were talking about this in flange A, we have a three mm slot, like three mm part which is coming out, and in this we have a four mm slot. So this 3mm will go in this 4mm, so 1mm gap will be there, right? Apart from that, it is same. Okay. So now we will start with uh, shaft, see this. So there are two shaft, so it has a slot up here as well as here. So there are two shaft with slot, right? Slot for keys, then we have a bolt, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 bolt. There are four bolt, one, two, three, four bolt, and four nut. So that is what is given. So what we need to do? We need to fix. We we need to keep flange A. Then we need to keep flange B. Then we have to put shaft A and B. To put the keys and join them with nut and bolt. Now we will draw 2D of this diagram. So first we will start with flange A, right? So first we will draw side view, where we have to draw circle. So first see diameter 189, right? So we will take on all four sides and then we will draw circle. We will take diameter 189 and we will draw circle. After that, see there is one more circle of diameter, right? See after 189, there is one more circle. So they have reduced 5 pi on both the sides. So we'll take 5 pi on both the sides and again we'll draw a circle. Right? After that, diameter 48. So that we will draw. Diameter 48 with slot, right? 
and there is slight dotted line also one more dotted line slight up so that is for the key wave then we have one more dark circle diameter 93 right and then we have pcd so that also we can draw so right now we are drawing flange a right and where we have four circles So we are done with flange A. There is one dotted line also. Yes, there is one dotted line diameter 75. So that also will draw. First we will draw side view. After drawing side view, we will draw front view. So in front view, see this, how much is this? 38. So that we can mark. This is going straight. See, wherever there is a round surface, you need to do approximately one or two millimeter round, you know, over here. So that you can do. And this portion is slightly coming out, that 3 mm. Right? So it is like this. Now we need to draw dotted for this shaft. We know it will be taper, but that we will get idea only once we will draw key. Right? Then we have dotted for this circle. This circle we have dotted. All of you got this? So we have drawn 1, 2, 3. Then we have. Now, if you see, this is not full, it's only till 21. So we don't have to draw full. So they have removed the material. See over here also, they are reducing weight. In assembly, we need to see weight. Weight is very important factor. So to reduce weight, we have removed this much portion. So it's a cavity over there, right? So we are done with flange A. Now we will draw flange B. Now when you draw flange B on this, I'm drawing with a different chalk. Over here, there will be one mm gap. So when you draw this yellow line will be dotted the inside one see this so when you draw because it is overlapping right so there will be a dotted line it will be like this Now this also we can't see this orange line because if you see from here it is also inside so now this orange line will be also dotted so in fact we will have two dotted lines so that you need to pay attention. First I showed you dark so you know that it is there now I am drawing dotted because if you see from outside you can't see right when you see from this side you can't see. Then we draw shaft, dot it for that. Right, 
this one, then this carpet, here also there will be a cavity. There will be a dotted for key slot. See this one. 12. You won't be able to see that. So here there will be a dotted, two dotted circles. Now we will insert shaft. So when you when you insert when you insert shaft, this will be hatched. Right over here we'll draw shaft. The slot for the key on the shaft. See this one. Here also we'll have a dotted line so we can put key over here. Then after this, so we are done with shaft, right? Flange A, flange B. Now we will put key, right? So now if you see key, they have given taper 1 is to 30. The so same like unprotected over here height is 8 so how much will be this height this is 85 and that given taper 1 is to 30 this one so we'll do 1 is to 30 then how much should be for 85 x will come some around 2.833 and we are taking 2.8 so your answer would be 5.2 so this height would be how much 5.2 Right? So we will draw accordingly. What we will do? We will draw key over here as well as over here and inside view we will do the correction like what whatever we can see from side. will be like this here also this is how it will be right so you'll have a key over here as well as key over here and now we will put nut and bolt so we have hexagonal headed bolt and hexagonal nut so we'll put hexagonal bolt over here one two three four so there are four bolts but in exam you have to show only one side view of hexagonal nut and bolt and you have to show hexagonal nut and bolt over here and if they say do not show hidden lines so then you don't have to show in lower portion so you don't have to show nut and bolt down but if they say show hidden lines so that time we need to draw now what we will do since because of this dotted line it will become a little, little bit complicated so what we will do we won't show hidden line in the lower half the upper half we will show because anyway we are going to do a section so that will go away automatically but in lower half, we won't be showing dotted line. So it will remove a slight complication. Now, in this sum, if you see, we will draw hexagonal nut and bolt over here. So we'll draw hexagon. We'll show axis line over here. See, we, we need to show only one in exam. So in say, say BSC board, they, they will ask you to draw only one. So we need to draw this way. And in this, it will be dotted. So over here, it is dotted. So what I've done, I've drawn this ditto same down but it is dark so you'll be able to understand better 
So now in this, first we will draw hexagon. We will draw, we will draw front view, and this is side view of a hexagonal bolt, right? So after drawing this, see this yellow portion. We will draw hexagonal nut. Now this orange line is clearance line, so one mm clearance, and this blue line is threading line. You know the threaded portion on the bolt. Then if you see side view, so when so when you see from here. We have a hexagon. This green circle is for chamfering. We draw chamfering at 30-30 degree. So that chamfering circle is there. Then it's a hexagonal bolt. So when you see from here, you will see bolt. So that's why outer circle is dotted. And inner one is 3 fourth. Right? And then we have clearance circle also. So that is dotted. Now this entire thing is dotted over here. I have drawn it dark. So I have shown you only for the understanding purpose I have done it now, otherwise it will be dotted only. And now we are going to do section, upper half in section. So when you do section, first we will draw cutting plane line, right? So this much portion will go away. So this is flange A, see if you can see, this will be hatched. Then flange B will be hatched, so that will be in different direction, right? So same thing we will follow over here. See this nut and bolt will be dark, right? This will go away. This will become dark. So we can do hatching in this area. So if you don't want to show partial size section, you can show it like this also. Half key which is dark, the other half is down, so we are not showing it. Generally, we don't show section in sharp, but if you want to show, you can show. It's like this. See, you have a key like this, right? So, if you want to show, what you can do, you can do partial section and you can show section like this. This also you can do or you, you can draw directly like this. So, there is a gap also. And section in reverse direction in this because so flange B so we are done with sectional front view upper half in section in this sum we will draw cutting clean line we will do dimensioning we will do the labeling Right, we will draw the table, projection symbol, scale 1 is to 1, LHSV, front view, upper half in a section and so we are done with assembly of protected flange coupling.